I want to talk about uh, our biodynamic dragon fruit here at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. And we just grow about five types on this log. Uh, we have Bruni, Voodoo Child, a couple of the large purple ones, and a white one that I haven't seen for a while. But when this thing starts fruiting, or flowering, it's quite the show. And I had to like push, push back this uh, Caesar weed so that it could have good airflow and pollination once it starts to do its thing. We get fruit off this and we don't do anything. We just plant it on trees or logs and walk away. Obviously it never gets watered by us. And um, here's a Bruni flower that's starting up. And I see a lot of other flower buds coming on. So, when it's covered in blooms, it's pretty spectacular, even if it didn't produce fruit. And I see this, all this looks like oyster mushrooms down here, uh, growing on the logs. And uh, it's like, Really good, like soil type, sandy loam. Dark sandy loam. But it's really not in the ground. And I can't believe a huge truck. A dump truck, the worst. Anyway. Um, it's just attached to what was an old oak tree that died here. Giant old oak tree. And it used to make me paranoid to drive around it because it was completely hollow because the lawn was completely compacted the soil around this tree from being a lawn for 50 years. But it's pretty spectacular uh, sight. I love cacti, succulents, and to have a fruiting one is incredible. We kind of just want to grow our own seed, uh, dragon fruit, and that's what we do. So I have a gigantic purple fruiting dragon fruit. It's a known variety, but it's purple fleshed and it's super sweet. But with other uh, gigantic fo formations, cause the, the fruit was like three pounds, three pound dragon fruits. And uh, so I'd grow seeds of that. And uh, I'm, that's like a phenomena that I'm noticing more and more growing uh, biologically and naturally uh, and having a biodynamics as our base. <clears throat> so we do biodynamics and then we create our own natural fertilizers. But dragon fruit, I, it's never really gotten anything. It's got the BD500 and I spray the orchard, this cover crop, this, you know, orchard floor. It's got some bananas growing next to it. And there's a guava and a cha-cha and sugar cane and some other stuff, but I try to keep it in the sun as much as possible. So 
this I have to like weed the vines that grow on it and like these things. I pull these out and make sure that the Caesar weed doesn't take it over. Anyway, this is our dragon fruit at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, growing biodynamically, Florida.